Hi, I'm Alicia Evans, and I'm a fiber artist. So I'm about to have a show that's coming up at the Uniondale Art Gallery, and that's Uniondale, New York. And um, I, I really want to thank them up front for sponsoring this event that's coming up, and it is a free event. And I, um, I want you, really, to register and come. That's the Uniondale Library. But anyway, today, I just wanted to take you through a couple of, uh, couple of the pieces that I have and um, let you take a look at what I do. So I work with yarn. And with the yarn that I work with, I um, create trees and a number of as abstract images. I want to take you on a quick, like, you know, take a look at three or four pieces here. Quick little tour, and I can let you see the, the details and the intimacy of all that I do and the passion that I feel when I go into um, creating trees. So let's take a look at walk over here. Are you ready? Are you sure? Are you sure you're ready? Okay, here we go. This first tree here is called a popcorn tree. And that is, um, and it's a sorority popcorn tree, giving homage in this particular instance to that sorority with the pink and green, woo, shout out. And what you can see here is that each one of these images, the ones that you see with the um, actual, um, pop, I call it the popcorn, each one of these are individually made and then I top them off with a wonderful gold ring. And then we take it to the green bark, which you can see right down at the bottom. One of the things that had been um, on my mind, and especially these past couple of years, is the state of our nation. We seem to be a nation um, in confusions and not coming together. But I, I started thinking about it and I said, well, I, I need to create a piece which symbolizes what's happening with us and also symbolizes the uh, potential of where we can go as a collective. So with this piece here, I call it frayed. And as you can see um, on the edges here, and this is jute that I use, on the edges here, there's much frayness going um, on. And that's almost like what we were going through as a nation. But as you take a look at what's going on in the center here, when we come to the center of our hearts, come to the center of who we are as human beings, we can come to let together collectively. And we can come together in what I symbolize with the white yarn there. So this piece I call frayed. I want to tell you about the next piece here, and I'm excited about this piece. And this, this is one of my signature pieces, and it's in um, a number of my shows. And I give homage to the wonderful artist Prince. And so um, when he transitioned, I just was, oh, oh, I was so hurt, along with so many other fans around. So this piece here is called Purple Rain. So if you take a look at the top portion here, and if you can see what's going on right up in there, this would be um, taking a look at prints from a side um, review, a profile kind of view. And what would we have here would be, you know, his face going around, so like that. And then um, when we take a look and pull back a little further here would be just a semblance of his particular symbol. So I call this Purple Rain. And that's R-E-I-G-N. The other pieces that I do, I do a whole piece, um, a series of uh, uh, pieces called um, Racers. And it's part of the Racers series. So uh, the next one I want to share with you is what I call the Green Haired Racer. And I love her. She is absolutely wonderful. Her hair is blowing in the wind. She's having a good time. She's going uphill. And she's got her wheels are going, and maybe these wheels back here are giving her some extra energy. What I, uh, what is interesting about my pieces, all of my pieces, any um, piece is made with one single piece of yarn. So all of this is one, one single piece of yarn to create the imagery that you see here. I'm also about to go into um, creating masks. And here's a piece that's still in its work, and I'll share that with you. All right, and this is a mask here, 
And it's, you know, I'm, I keep thinking about the mask um, that they found uh, in cave walls or the masks that come off of the uh, great uh, uh, continent of Africa. And uh, this is what inspired me on that. So you can see the eyes that are right here. And then we have the mouth here. And then I'm still working on how I'm going to finish up this mouth. But um, as I had mentioned, um, this is done with one singular piece of yarn. So when you see this light green hair, um, this is one piece of yarn. Uh, and it's, uh, when I make it to the darker green, that is not, um, that's still on that one single piece of yarn. And I find what's really meditative about my work is that you can sit and try to figure out where the beginning is. If, if you can possibly do that. One of my first trees, which I keep in my bedroom, um, I use it as a meditative piece, trying to figure out, you know, where did I start it? Where did it end? Does it go up and around here? But then there's a, a, a it stops and goes, oh, but it's just so much fun to do. I want to share with you a last piece here before we uh, call it. Are you ready? So this is another piece that's still in the works, and it may very well be ready for the, um, for the Uniondale show. Uh, Union, that's Uniondale, New York, Uniondale um, Library. And I want to thank Uniondale once again for, for having me and hosting me for this. This is a free event, and it's coming up soon. All right, so this piece here doesn't have a name. I'm still working on it. So what happens here, what I've been doing with my pieces, and so let me pull back. So this is the body of a tree, I mean the bark of a tree, I may make it larger, I'm not sure, I may add on to it. But what you do find with my pieces is that when I end them, or rather when I start them, I always indicate on my pieces for myself or for the pieces that I'm selling where I started the piece so that somebody who wanted to know that actually, oh, sit down and try to figure out where it ends. Wait a minute, I want, to, I want you to see more. Okay, so this piece has started here. And I usually just tuck it under. Or I'll show whoever buys it where it is. But as you can see, this goes up and then it goes around. And then it comes down that way. And then um, I'm not sure where it ends and where it goes. But I usually sit on the floor and I formulate it. Um, like many of the artists who are in Africa, I find it in order to actually see the piece and work with the piece, I do my sculpting of it into the final shape that it's going to be. I do all my shapes and sculpting on the floor. So loves, I hope you had a good time. I hope to see 